Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be transforming myself into my celebrity lookalike, which a lot of y'all are saying is Melanie Fiona, which I've never even thought or really even see, but I get so many comments saying that I look like Melanie Fiona. So today I'm gonna be transforming into Melanie Fiona. <laughs> I also get some comments of people saying I look like Nicki Minaj, which I really don't see, but hey. Um, if y'all want me to recreate some of Nicki's looks, then I will. It probably needs to be with my real hair because I'm, I'm not really good with wigs and styling them and all that. So if it's something that I can execute with my own hair, then I will. But yeah, so I have this picture that I found that I'm gonna try to recreate today. And this video idea was actually suggested by one of my subscribers, so I'm doing it. So I found the picture that I'm gonna recreate. Most of you will know she actually cut her hair, which <laughs> I'm not doing. So I had to go back and find a picture of her before she cut her hair. This is the look I'm gonna be recreating. She has like these soft waves in her hair, which is perfect because that's how I've been wearing my hair a lot lately, which is why I have these two buns. I love the way my hair looks when I unravel my hair from these buns, and I feel like it also makes my straight hair last so much longer than if I were to wrap my hair. Um, and it just gives my hair so much body and volume. I'm going to start with the brows, and I'm going to be taking my Crayon Case Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And her brows look... Um, her brows look sort of thin. They don't look as thick as I would normally do mine. So I'm going to kind of keep that in mind. Go ahead and brush these out. Also, the way that her brows are filled in, it looks like she doesn't fill in the top of the brow. So I'm going to I'm going to also keep that in mind. Her brows are very like like have a curve to them. I typically do my brows like a straight on full on like y'all know how I do my brows so I'm just gonna fill it in at the bottom and then work my way out so that's not bad how that's looking I normally would you know add that line right here too at the top okay wait a minute so the brows don't look so bad they kind of look like more natural looking and if I were to draw that line at the top to connect now I'm gonna conceal but I'm only gonna conceal the bottom of the brow because it looks like that may have been what she did or what her makeup artist did i don't know okay and also since she has more of a natural looking brow going i'm gonna take my spoolie end of the brush and just brush it out just brush it out a little okay so now we're gonna move on to the eyes and it looks like she has just a touch of brown shadow on like a light brown shadow so that's what i'm gonna do i'm actually just gonna be taking my fenty beauty bronzer i think this is the perfect shade it's in coco naughty with a very light hand i'm going to just brush this on just for a little color like boom like that's it like now i'm gonna move on to the other eye because it's it seems like she has some shadow on but it's almost as if she has none on like it's there, but it's barely there. So either she doesn't have any on at all and that's her natural lid shade or she used just a light brown color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, so she has a wing. So I'm gonna take my ColourPop liquid liner in the shade Numero Uno, it's just black, and I'm going to do the wing. Her wing is very skinny at the tip and long so i'm gonna try to elongate it i feel like hers kind of has a slight curve to it but whatever wings used to be my thing like my everyday thing but i just got so tired of doing them it kind of takes a little bit of concentration so i just stopped doing wings but let's see for the lashes she had oh it looks like she doesn't have lashes on y'all if y'all have been watching me y'all know that i gotta have my lashes but for the sake of this video it looks like she just has a light coat of mascara on but okay 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 i kind of stopped using mascara really because i just wear falsies on top of it so i just kind of started 
just putting my falsies on without mascara and then two by the end of the day I feel like when I wear mascara it smudges around my eyes but that's okay that's okay she also has it on her lower lashes too which I don't do but it's okay it's okay it's okay it's for the look so just a coat of mascara I'm using the L'Oreal L'Oreal Voluminous and Carbon Black. It's been so long since I used mascara. Either she, is that what it looks like? Either she has a really natural little lash or she has on just a coat of mascara. Cause my lashes be thick. Y'all know I like my lashes thick and big and um, either she has a really naturally long lashes, which I don't, or she just has, like I said, a really natural falsy on. Mm, okay, we're gonna do the lower lash line. Then it gets down here. Oh, this is why I don't <laughs> wear mascara anymore. It's just annoying. Oh, you know what? She might have a little bit of that brown shadow underneath the eye. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the lower lash line of what I put, the bronzer that I put on the lid. It's more so towards the outer corners of her eye. So we're gonna just pop it on the outer corners. So we're gonna move on to foundation and I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Classic Tan. It's 335. Okay, so we got a little natural beat going. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So for concealer, I'm gonna be taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter and I have the shade 350. Not too much of this cause we're getting a natural beat down vibe. And I have to work in sections with it, y'all know because the Fenty dries down so fast. Okay, so the finish is giving me very much dewy vibes and y'all know I'm an oily girl. I don't like that word. I don't appreciate that word. That word is like a death sentence but it's okay. I can kind of get my face to look like that if I don't bake. So like if I just take a brush with some setting powder and just pat 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 it in that kind of gives me that look a little bit. In about mm, 10 minutes I'll start to look a little dewy. So I'm gonna take my little setting powder brush and I'm gonna take my Beauty Bakery flower powder in the shade Plantain and I'm just gonna set my face where I concealed just lightly tapping off the excess I'm just gonna pat it in girl I will be dewy in no time not baking my face <laughs> it just has a completely different finish than if I were to set the powder into my face with my Beauty Blender. Okay, so again, very much natural vibes. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take a lighter bronzer, which is the Fenty Beauty, the one that I used on the eyes. My cheeks, where I normally would, just with a lighter hand, less product. I'm still gonna get the sides of the forehead. Is her nose contour? Let's see. Okay, her nose looks a little contoured. I'm going to my smaller angled brush and contour the nose. I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush just to kind of take down the contour a little bit. It's like she has a deeper nose contour though. So I think I'm gonna take my deeper contour which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in Mahogany. And I'm gonna do a little bit more contour. And then I think also for the lower lash line, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this ABH bronzer as well, just because it's a deeper brown and I feel like she has a deep brown shadow on the lower. Okay, yeah. That definitely looks more like her lower lash line. Okay, so I also went back and added a little bit more mascara just because I feel like she has way more. Um, I took my I took my NYX Worth the Hype. Oh yay, it looks like she has a little bit of highlight on actually. 
So I'm going to be taking, so I get to use my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, but first I need to set the face. I'm going to take the Beauty Bakery Setting Spray. Okay, so highlighter. She has some on the tip of the nose. Yay, I always do that. I'm going to take some on the tip of the nose. I usually bring it down the bridge too, but I don't see any there. So we're not going to do that. And it looks like she has some on her cheeks, if I'm not mistaken. And her chin. I don't know if that's just the way the light is hitting, but I'm just going to take a little bit and just try and see. Like put it on my cheeks and then down on my chin. Because she has like a glow in her cheeks and her chin. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea, sis. That looks good. Ooh, that hits. I might start doing that. We're gonna move on to the lips. And from what I can see, it looks like she has like a nude lipstick. I haven't worn lipstick in so long, y'all. I'm a gloss girl, but I'm gonna take some liner the liner, I always use the crown case one. And just line my lips. And I'm going to be taking the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. This is like probably the only nudish lipstick I have. I really don't, you know, like I said, wear lipstick. But let's see. Okay, this is pretty similar to what she has on. Okay, so her liner isn't really showing all that much. So I'm going to kind of make sure I kind of blend it in. Are we done? Oh, okay. We're not done yet. She has this jewel. Um, I think it's a jewel in the middle of her forehead. So I have some jewels that I'm going to... Okay, so I'm just going to place it right in the middle. It's like right where her brows are at. So I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it right in the center. Hopefully that's... Yeah, okay. Ooh, cute. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the hair. I just pull out the bun and it just has a sort of like wave to it but it has these waves and I just separate the hair so it has this soft wave it just gives me a little oomph a little I love it so I just kind of like play around with it And this is what we are looking like. Pull out some hair in the back so it doesn't have that parting. So then, so first of all, I know she has on a white shirt. I tried to find a plain white top, but I just couldn't, I don't own one. So she has on these big like statement gold earrings. So I'm gonna use the biggest earrings that I have. I got these from Shein. I did a review on these actually, if you go watch my Shein jewelry haul. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it, y'all. So what do y'all think? Did I nail this recreation? Do I look even more like her now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I see it a little bit, y'all, a little bit. Like, I think we could definitely pass for sisters. We're definitely not twins. We're maybe like cousins, sisters, something like that. Nonetheless, she's beautiful. You know, it's not a bad thing if I do look like her. Um, but so many of y'all say it, so I just had to do this video. As always, I really, really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I would love some love. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if y'all enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.